Good evening, everybody. It is July 2nd, 2018, 8.53 p.m. All right, quick update. I saw some stuff going on online that we're going to talk about. Uh, we got some invests going on in the Atlantic Ocean, so we're definitely going to touch base on those. Take a look at some of these temperatures, guys. This is current right now as the sun's going down. So um, a lot of places in the northeast will not drop below 79 degrees tonight. It will be muggy. But check out some of these temperatures. We had records broken all over the place. In fact, I got a text from a friend of mine in Harrisburg said they hit 111 today. I saw officially it was 106, uh, which I'm going to bank on. 111 is a little up there. But you could see clearly the entire country is covered in well over 100 degree temperatures with this heat wave that's rolling through. Um, we do have a bit of a lightning situation going on. And this ties into another YouTuber... Uh, that does some pretty decent work. Thor News put out a video about an hour ago about these invests that we're dealing with. Um, he's usually all over these things, but here we go. Check it out. So we have two separate areas in the Atlantic right now. Uh, disturbance number two is 20% chance cyclone formation over five days. This means that it has a 20% chance of forming over five days. Usually when you have that, the 48-hour percent chance is zero. So once you get that 20% over five days up to 50, you will start seeing a percentage in the two-day mark. But for right now, this is a five-day um, uh, outlook, which means it could be, it could not be. But then we also have one right here. You can see disturbance number one, which is at zero as of right now over five days, which means it could form within 48 hours. So I know it's a little hard to understand we are going to break down what all these different charts mean once I can actually sit down and make a video, like a tutorial video for you guys to go by when you're looking for this stuff yourself. Now, while we're looking at the Tropical Intensity Index, this is where it tells you the most favorable areas for cyclone formation. And it's clear as day that this makes perfect sense. You can see all the way up past Atlanta, Georgia, into the Carolinas, it is deep red, which means it is prime time for formation to happen there. Um, anything to the southwest of Cuba all the way to Cancun, Mexico is wide open and ready and the entire ring inside the Gulf is ready to go as well as we all know the Pacific Ocean has been spitting off uh, basically tropical storm and hurricane uh, after tropical storm and hurricane. We're currently dealing with Fabio. Um, here is our tropical wave system. We like to look at this chart a lot because when you start seeing your shark fin uh, uh, shapes here you can almost guarantee they're going to start barrel rolling, and we work in a counterclockwise uh, deal in the northern hemisphere for the Atlantic Ocean. So whenever you see these shark waves here and they begin to roll over, you can expect the next step to be a tropical depression or a storm. So what I also want you to look at is up here by Florida. There is a lot of activity going on by the Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the Panhandle of Florida area. That is the area where this invest is taking place right now. You could almost see the rotation going on right there. So we're talking within 48 hours, this is a hit or miss situation. This could become um, a big rainmaker. I don't, in my opinion, which is exactly that, my opinion, um, I do not think this will become cyclone formation, at least by uh, Louisiana. Uh, the one out to the Carolinas, though, that has more of a chance because of the atmospheric conditions. Now, you could see it beginning to spin right here. We have a drop of cold air coming down from Canada, and then as that happens, it begins to whip this moisture around in a circle, and that is where that screenshot we just looked at. Let's get back to it, if we can find it. I always have so many tabs pulled up. You guys always mention that right here. So here we go. If we click on this, you can see it. this is the second one of the two. So two popped up today. This one is clearly looking more healthy, at least to me. Again, this does not mean there will be a hurricane. It does not mean that the land is going to be threatened. It means that they are watching it. National Hurricane Center is watching it. And uh, the uh, typical online uh, weather channels are watching it, including myself. I just had a late day today. But um, once again, guys, you guys need to be caught up with anything. Check out Thor News. Uh, him and I had a conversation. We may be doing some work together, which would be cool for you guys um, just to get more info out there. That's what this is all about. It's all about sharing info and getting this stuff out sooner than the mainstream media does, which is the entire point. Uh, just like our video about the sand reaching, the, uh, reaching Texas. We were talking about that for two and a half weeks prior to it actually being mentioned on the mainstream media. So um, 
you know, it works. You know, you guys can come here and get all the information you need rather than waiting for the TV to tell you what's going to happen. Now, here's another disturbance chart we could check out. They're only showing this one. Uh, this one usually catches up later on, but you could see it's right to the uh, east side of Louisiana there, those extended parts. Lots of cloud cover. This will involve moisture. But again, moisture is one thing. Cyclone formation is a total other thing. So let's see what else we got. Uh, same thing there. Okay, as far as the U.S. goes, now with the heat wave we've been dealing with, this front you see right now, this is the last frame. So this is what we're expecting for the northeast. So basically every northeast state all the way down to uh, Georgia and already parts of Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, you guys are feeling the wrath of some rain right now. But if I back this up, you can kind of see how it doesn't come west to east. This kind of uh, creates from a pole from up near Nova Scotia down past uh, New Hampshire, right over New York and into the Gulf. So the Gulf is fueling a lot of this moisture. And that's because we have a constant upflow coming this way. We have a west to east shear wind coming this way. And that usually just pulls things up into this area because of a Bermuda high pressure. For those of you that were with me last year, we all know the Bermuda high pressure is a big pressure bubble in the Atlantic Ocean that keeps things running around it. That's why you rarely see storms move through the middle of the Atlantic Ocean because there's always a high pressure there. It goes up and around or it comes down and underneath, okay? So with that said, let's check out Fabio. Fabio's up there in the 80s and 90 mile per hour speeds. I know we're up at 750, but uh, this is a very significant hurricane. Um, if it has become a hurricane, actually, I think it's still maybe a tropical storm. No, this is hurricane speed. Let's actually check it out together. We'll go to 10 meters above the ground. And we'll check wind speeds. All right, we broke 50, so we're definitely a tropical storm uh, range. And then, as you can see here, I just want to show you the uh, flow that comes off the West African coast right here. It comes down through these islands here, and then it gets caught right here. And this is critical area right here between the west side of Africa and the Leeward Islands. This is where all these storms begin to get their strength. And then by the time they get to Santo Domingo... Um, Puerto Rico and then Cuba they are very strong storms so no matter which way they go they will cause issues so once again even though this invest is only at 20 percent it is definitely worth posting um, that is why you saw it on Thor News that's why you saw it on I believe um, Force 13's website posted on it so um, this is just another outlet for you guys to check out and to see it yourself so if you look down here this is Fabio moving along and then as we move forward, you see that low pressure build up right there. And that's pretty rare. And the reason that that's happening is because that Bermuda high pressure we're talking about, which usually centralizes the Atlantic Ocean, is actually moved up towards the United Kingdom right now. So that's allowing this gap to be open for formation to form, which is why this popped up so quickly. So unless that high pressure can come back, which it looks like it might, it may press this thing down onto the wet, uh, east coast of Florida, or it could swing it up into the northeast, and with the right conditions, could be something we need to worry about. So that's where we're at right now. This is Thor News Channel. If you want to check out his video he posted, it's named Alert, 10% Chance, Tropical Storm or Hurricane, Next 48 Hours, 40,000 Lightning Strikes in 2 Hours. So I have the lightning chart pulled up. He's probably right about that. Whenever you see the oranges and reds, those have happened within the last couple seconds. When you see the orange dots, that means that the lightning's been there and then gone. But look, every time you see these green lines, that is a live strike of lightning. So, I mean, for those of you that can count that fast, if you have any rain man out there, do the math. That is a lot of lightning, and it's all moving across the entire East Coast. So we're talking from South Florida all the way up to Maine, Nova Scotia, into Canada. This front will be pushing through, uh, causing spotty storms. Tornado Alley is a very important place to watch right now. And I do have one more chart pulled up. Um, actually, this one too. You can see the heat wave is still just pushing out of the northeast. Well over 100 degree weather. And then this is the one I wanted to show you here. Uh, tornado uh, situations are minimal at least. They would be in the center part of the country. You can see one there near Minnesota, uh, bordering the Dakotas, 2%. And then we can move down to the north of Texas, 2%. So I don't see tornadoes being an issue. Wind will be an issue because we have the back end of those storms coming. Wind will certainly be an issue for the northeast as those storms make their way into New York, Pennsylvania, 
uh, Chesapeake Bay areas like that. Hail? Yes. Okay, so New York is expected to get some hail with this. Um, and certainly hail over the Dakotas moving down south right over to North Texas. That is also because of the back end of this cold front. So, all right. I hope you guys can absorb all that information at once. I know I talk fast sometimes, but got to get a lot of info packed into short videos so uh, we don't lose interest here. So, once again, main point of this, two invests going on. One in the Gulf as we speak. One just outside the Carolinas, which in my opinion has a better chance of forming if it does. And if it does, you know damn well we'll be right here talking about it, guys. All right, I hope everyone has a great evening. We'll talk in the morning. Any developments in this, I will be right back on here to talk to you. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.